It's currently like eight something and I realized I haven't filmed this video yet and I just bought this shirt so I figured a good excuse to wear this shirt would be to open up a Spider-Man advent calendar. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Also, when you guys are watching this, it is Christmas Eve, so happy early Merry Christmas. I hope that you guys enjoyed the daily uploads pretty much this week. I think I only skipped like one or two days. I don't remember, but it was a lot of videos, so really trying to pump out the usage of the holiday intro. But we have this really cool like countdown advent calendar thing that I'm going to be opening today. It is super light. It probably weighs less than a pound. And I actually got this at a Dollar Tree. So this cost me a whopping one dollar. And y'all know, first of all, I love Spider-Man. Second of all, I love mystery boxes. So to get a essentially 20 piece mystery box for a dollar that's Spider-Man, I couldn't not pick it up uh, for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so this is a few years old. I couldn't believe that they had this though for a dollar. We're gonna see how this goes, but it's supposed to include 20 days of Spidey surprises. And you get 14 minifigures, four stickers, and two cardboard builds. So I mean, nothing too crazy. The figures look to be pretty small. But I'm excited to see what they vary as and if they look decent. I mean a dollar and there's 20 days here guys. That's literally five cents a day. So that's like, even if these figures are like quarter machine figures, you're getting a good value in this for a dollar. So I don't know why Dollar Tree had these. They had I think four of these left. They were in like some little cardboard box thing. I found it last minute. I thought it would have been fun to do because of Spider-Man coming out this month, but I am a little late with that, so we're just doing it on Christmas Eve. It is, again, a 20-day calendar, so it's not like a Christmas 12-day or 24-day advent, but I'm just gonna kind of use it as that because why not? So we're gonna open it. Again, it is late at night. I just, like, took a shower. Please excuse how I look. And I did look this up to see like if people were just buying these up and reselling them or anything. And I only saw a few on eBay for like 14 bucks. So I don't know where these were originally sold. If these were only like a Dollar Tree thing or what. Because again, these are a few years old. It says 2018. And I honestly have only seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse twice. And it was when it came out. I may be a little lacklustered with this one, but... I am familiar with most of the Spider-Verse, so we should be okay. If I get anything wrong or have questions, I know y'all will correct me very quickly, so. So we're just gonna start with day number one. Oh my God, there are so many. This is so cute. For a dollar, are you kidding me? Oh my God, and it's like rubber. Look at how cute that minifigure is. Are you kidding me? Y'all don't even understand, I am a sucker for miniature things, like I just, I love miniature things. Oh my gosh, I can't even get him out. Come out, Miles. Miles, please. Oh, oh my god, and he's rubbery. Oh my god, this is incredible. This is the best purchase that I made in 2021, to be honest. And there is honestly quite a lot of detail. The paint job is a little spotty. There's a lot of detail in this for how small it is. Also, this is how big it is. I know I have long nails. Hi. Um, this is like how big he is compared to my thumb. So he's pretty freaking miniature. But holy crapola. Look at that guy. He has a little hole in the bottom, so maybe you could use him as a pencil topper. He's not an eraser, though. Spider web. Holy smokes. Day number two. Oh my gosh, it's a Peter Parker. Ah, ah, this is 
so funny guys this is so cute i'm sure some parents would not be a huge fan of this because of how small these are like these are literally it's not they might as well have put actual size on the back here but we have a cool little peter parker this is kind of dope i don't think he really looks like the peter parker in the into the spider-verse though he kind of looks a little generic that's okay, he also got big feet. They bend and stuff. Probably easily breakable, but kind of fun. I'm wondering how big these stickers are gonna be. I feel like the stickers are gonna be super small too, but let's do day number three. Oh, speaking of, they're so perfectly well fit in this box too. Like, in a cool little sticker there. That's really awesome. That'd be cool to put on like an iPad or something. I might put it on my iPad to be honest. Very visible print. It's not even pixelated. Like the quality. If anybody knows where this originally was sold, like if this isn't like a Dollar Tree thing, let me know and let me know what the original MSRP of this was because I would be really curious to see like if this was more than a dollar. Anything under 10 would probably be a good price point. But again, this is coming from somebody who absolutely loves miniatures and the fact that like I can put these on display in my office and they're not going to take up so much room as somebody who collects way too many things. Day number four. Oh my gosh we have spider Gwen! Ah! Or as like the Disney, there's like a Disney show and they call her um ghost spider which is kind of interesting. Okay detail is still there. It's a little bit awkward with this one because of like the white suit. I think she's supposed to be on some sort of web thing again because there's like a grid behind her but she is still super cute, super squishy. I really should leave them in the box so that way you guys can see them better. There's a few flaws but again these things are super small. They're not like hard, they're really tiny. Oh my god we have another Miles. I'm gonna start showing them to you in the box because I think it's a little bit easier. Look at how small. Like I figured they were gonna be small, but I thought they were gonna be plastic. So I figured they'd be like a little bit bigger than this. It's so scary to get them out though because I'm afraid I'm gonna like rip them or something. This one's cute too though. They're so cute. Why am I obsessed with these? For a dollar? How did I luck out, honestly? Like I used to go to Dollar Tree all the time but I really stopped going because I would just buy so much junk food and like things that like I really didn't need or things that weren't like as of quality. But I went because that's where I always get my like wrapping supplies for everything, birthdays, baby showers. Like I always go to Dollar Tree because it's a dollar and it's usually cute stuff. So I went there to get some Christmas wrapping and I found this. <laughs> this is a great purchase. I'm so excited about this. Day number nine is over here. It's a little bit bigger. So day six is up here. Ooh. And most of these doors are easy to open. Oh my God. It's the Green Goblin. Super freaking cool. He's got like gold detailing on his arms, little wings. A big tail. I was excited to see a villain though, because I was hoping there'd be some villains in here. Day number seven. Ooh, we have like the, um, uh, whatchamacallit suit. This one's cool. This one's really cool. And I really like this one too, because you can really see the spider on his suit. Y'all don't understand. I'm sure there's somebody watching this that's like, this is complete junk. This is so cool. Like, and somebody could just buy this to count down to when the movie came out. That is so awesome. This is also settling my desire for more No Way Home merch because I feel like there's not enough out there, but I also understand as somebody who saw the movie early, I totally get it. And we're going to see it again because I told my husband we have to go and see it again. And I would have seen it the day after, like the original like release day, but he said it was too soon. So we're going to see it the day after Christmas. Day number eight. Another spider. Oh, it's spider pig. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. I don't have anything spider pig. So this is really cool. He's 
got a lot of detail on him too. Okay, so now day number nine, which I'm going to assume is probably the cardboard display. We have something cardboard here. I see like a web and some walls. This is where it'd be like, mm, this is, you know, not the best thing. And it says Spider-Man and then there's a web on the top. So then you could just display a figure on the top of it. There it goes. But the good thing is they're rubber, so they're not gonna break. Day 10, we're halfway through. We have another sticker. This one is the one that's actually advertised on the back of the box. It's just Miles Morales and it says Spider-Man. Day number 11. Oh, we have... I don't know who this is. But there he is. But here he is. I will put up his name on the screen so that way you guys know who this is supposed to be depicting and who this is of. We have another Spider-Man. This time he's shooting some webs and he looks so cool. That looks awesome. We got a lot of detail. Day number 13. Our last sticker. So there's only supposed to be three stickers, four stickers. I lied. Kind of an okay sticker. It's just a web with some graffiti that says Spider-Man. Nothing too crazy on this one. The stickers that we got, I think the first one is my favorite so far. Oh my gosh. So we got the red or we got the blue and now we have the all red. It's so cool. Day 15, <laughs> which is my favorite number, so hopefully this is a good one. It's another Miles, so that is a win for day 15. Really cool. I didn't show him in the box. You know, I try to be a professional YouTuber, but things happen. 16. Oh, we got our last sticker. Oh, this one's cool. So it's a Miles Morales graffiti. He's doing the same pose that's on the outside of the box. And again, it says Spider-Man, I think. I love how they all say Spider-Man on them, except for the first sticker. This one's cool too. I like this one. 17 is up here. We get to open up the other Spider-Man door. Oh, we ripped the advent. So it's a good thing I took that thumbnail when I did. And it looks to be the big um, cardboard cutout that's on the back here. So it just looks like this. So it's a little staircase. I don't even know how this would stand up. Well, I'll be damned, it stands up. Okay. The back is just like a scenic thing, but it has the letters on it. And then on the front, it actually says... Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse with the little steps so you could put two figures on here. So, okay. We only have three days left, so day 18. Oh shit, I forget his name. It's the uncle or whatever though. I don't remember his name. I just know it's like the uncle or something. So I'm gonna put up the name because I forget. I really need to rewatch this though because they're making another one. We have the Spider-Man that's on the back. Right there. And Miles, so they go together. That's pretty cool. Day 20, who's it gonna be? Another Miles. And with that, we finished the advent with our last figure, our Miles. So cool. We got a lot of different characters. We did end up with four Miles in the end. They are all different poses though. I love how two of them are on like little spider webs. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this because if I tilt it, they're gonna fall, but we got four Miles. 
it's really hard to show you guys I'm so sorry honestly for a dollar in total there's no way to complain or say that like this is a bad advent calendar I can't say this would necessarily be great for kids unless the kids are a little bit older because of how small the figures are. I think it's great because you get so many different characters you can display in such a small area. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna display them on top. I have like a red little shadow box thing with like a little camera in it. It's kind of bizarre but it's red, so I think I'm gonna put them all on top of that. I think it'll look really cool, so I'm really excited about that. But without leaving any spoilers, if you guys have seen No Way Home, let me know what your opinion is on it in the comments down below. I can't wait to go and see it again, and I'm so happy that I had this little experience before Christmas. This was so much fun. I thought this was a crazy cool find, so yeah. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.